Strays review. Doggy time. Let's party. Brunch. Strays is a 2023 comedy film from director Josh Greenbaum. It stars Will Ferrell as a dog who gets abandoned by his owner and joins a pack of strays. Together, the canine quartet travels on a mission to find the owner and bite his penis. As of this recording, it has a 55 on Rotten Tomatoes. Strays is one hour and 33 minutes long and is a terrible movie. It is bad. It's, a it's bad, bad. Movie, brother. It takes a lot for us to be like, this is a bad movie. I don't know how many times we've ever said that when sitting down to review a movie where we're both like, this movie is bad. Two but guess what? Down. This movie stinks. It stinks. It's not funny. It is lowest common denominator humor but even yeah. then i was in a theater with two other people who had a dog shout out making it a family event and like strays did they bring their dog, dog is check yes no it was not a stray dog that was in the theater it, a, a what couple... theater allows you to bring a dog in there i would assume tons of theaters do it's, it's like a like I, I you don't know Nervous why the dog? person had a dog yeah there. uh anyway uh they, they were howling Laughing okay. at everything, and I don't know if they were trying to maybe if like the dog uh, was having a rough time, and they were trying to help him with his self esteem, and they were like, "Hey, look how funny dogs are! Look at that <laughs> one. That one sounds like Jamie Fox. That one sounds yeah, like so, Randall Park, who wasn't bad in this, but it was still a no, very bad no. movie." Yeah, I mean, so it, it's like it's, I like the premise of it. The premise of it is so dumb and like over the top that I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm in." And it builds itself as like a dark comedy and. Like a, a comedy for not necessarily a dark, yeah. movie, but a comedy for <laughs> adults. Too much credit. <laughs> a, a, a comedy for adults, but the real caveat there is it's only for adults if you're a sophomore in high school. Like that's what they consider an adult. Yeah, it. Ah, uh, shit. What was I going to? Oh, that the concept of it is why I was so intrigued by it. I thought that it looked like a movie I would not enjoy, but its premise. And when I was telling people that I was going to see this movie, they were like, that looks horrible. And I was like, right, but I want to give money to somebody who executed a vision of a dog gets left by its owner. So with the help of other dogs, they decide they're going to bite his penis off and they'd make, there's no like uh double entendre or like hidden messages there. They're like the movie is about they say, and it's right in the trailer. They're like, okay, let's find him and let's bite his penis. Hollywood made that movie. So yeah, I'm, I love that. I'm happy for outrageous things that that happened, but it was so, so not funny. Every joke yeah. was super obvious. Even like I said, the uh, Randall Park's character I liked and I liked Randall Park and I liked some of the casting choices. Like Will Ferrell as a dog, count me in. J Jamie Foxx as anything, count me in. Isla Fisher hadn't personally hadn't heard from her in a minute. Randall Park, like I, I loved this group, and Randall Park's character was fine, but like I feel like nobody in this movie could do anything without it being done in the most corny, obvious way possible. Yeah, none of it surprised me. Like in terms of like, there were a few jokes that I thought hit pretty pretty hard. Like there were a few laughs for me. But other, otherwise, like, this was humor for wine moms. This is humor for, like, the most boring suburban people that are just like, ha, ha, ha. Like, isn't this – like, it's just a – it was the lamest jokes. It, like you said, it was the lowest common denominator jokes. Like, they – they got drunk like 10 minutes into the movie. They did drugs 30 minutes later. Like, it's so stupid. Yeah, the, uh, the only thing – the only time that I laughed – was there's a scene in which they get taken to the kennel and as they're walking in it's like your classic entering prison everybody's yelling fresh meat doing that sort of thing and mm -hmm. one of the dogs in the kennel went yeah that, was pretty <laughs> funny. Yeah. that made me laugh out loud <laughs> and that was the only time in the entire movie that i laughed yes no there was um when they were at the state fair 
and the golden retriever was doing the narrator thing and then was like, oh, my owner's a serial killer, but nobody will listen to me. I thought that one was pretty funny. Uh, and then uh, the bunny scene. I thought the bunny scene was kind of funny. Okay, so the narrator and the owner's a serial killer thing. Again, super it telegraphed. Like, I, I liked that. Yeah, it I, wasn't executed well. I like, liked super well. that they did give a little nod and a wink to the trope of doing a talking animal movie that like, Hey, it could be worse. It could be this type of talking animal movie. And then, yeah, the owner who's being cutesy with the girl is going to kill her. Uh, I, what I'll give them. And I mean, we can just jump right into the positives and negatives if we want, because I don't know how much there is to say about this movie other than it sucks. The biggest positive I'll give it is it does deliver on its promise. And not that, yeah. spoiler yeah. alert, not that it bites the penis. We knew it was going to bite the penis. But, by the way, bite the penis has to be the new jumping the shark. It means <laughs> when you're promising something and you you make good on it. Yes. I thought the scene of the biting the penis and the presentation was, I was like, you know what? Very good. Good. Very good. You, you yeah. executed that well. And you know what? If that... If it were just a gross, stupid thing, the other positive I'll give it is it's not as gross as it could have been. It was very gross in certain points, but it was not sausage party. Like that, and that's my third positive. It's not sausage party, which is the lowest bar I could give it. I didn't think it was going to be particularly funny. I meant to bring up on the regular podcast a discussion about do we think this movie has a chance of being funny or is it just going to be sausage party? The answer is no and no. Not funny, not sausage party. Well, well, I think like the the better question is, do we think the, that people are going to consider this movie funny? And I uh -oh. think the answer is yes. And I think that the Rotten Tomatoes score gives you an indication. Like fifty five percent is way higher than I expected this to come in at, and that's from critics who are typically pretty tough on on comedies. Like we've seen comedies that we've really liked and they've been in the twenties and thirties. <laughs> and this movie's got 55%, which is crazy to me. And that makes me think that a lot of people are going to find this funny. But again, like I, I really think it's going to be like a litmus test for me to like, like how funny are you? Like, what is your level of humor that you find this movie funny? And you're like over 16 years old, buddy. It's got an audience score of 71. That, yeah, so like I'm I'm not shocked that like I guess I guess I'm not shocked that the audience score is is higher considering it's 55 as critics. So uh, one of like the big negatives for me was that like the, the movie that like or I guess like the world that this movie takes place in didn't make any sense to me. Like I don't know if that's like the biggest problem to have here, but like I don't know how far they traveled like it's they have like so many things that that come up where like these dogs got home in essentially it seemed like a day but it took three hours to drive like none of this really makes sense logistically and then all they had to do was yell in the woods to get people that they met like 45 minutes earlier in the movie to just run over to them none of this made sense from like a geographical standpoint for me and it really bothered me geographically insincere yes. or uh, insane geographically insane leaves the leaves the viewer geographically skeptical yes that's its biggest negative i mean the the one that just has to be there is that it's not funny yeah obvious oh, yeah. stupid what like we, we can low put, hanging fruit uh, right uh but again i will give it's positive that it's not sausage party what do you give it on letterboxd um, I, on the way home, I was thinking about it. I'm either between a one and a half and a two. I'm, I'm leaning closer to one and a half. Oh, wow. Again, you're the guy who likes letterboxed. I it, it, am bad at it. I was gonna say, and we were in lockstep this conversation. I was like, do I go zero? Do stars. I go half a star or do I go zero? Yeah, I guess I go yeah. half a star. I mean, it takes a lot for me to go like one star and I don't know if I've ever given half a star, maybe hypnotic if I go back and look, but like you have to be a real piece of shit and I don't consider this to be the worst movie of the year. I think it's very bad, 
But him, Hypnotic is a much bigger waste of time because that movie took itself seriously and was awful. At least this one was like, it's a, we know that this is a dumb movie. It's like the SATs. You get a certain amount of letter uh, score for writing your name. You put Bill Fickner yeah. in the movie. You're starting at one and a half stars, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'll give this then. I'll give this one star then. Okay. I hate to wear. That's, that's I got to be the lowest cumul- cumulative that we've had. I mean, it was a ba- I don't know about you. I personally, I thought it was a bad movie. So I think that it's uh, okay. If I mean, something's got to be the lowest. And this was, as fruit goes, low hanging. Not. Just not a, a, a great movie. Uh, check out our other reviews where we discuss movies that we definitely liked more on our YouTube page. Subscribe, like, do whatever you'd like. And obviously check out our podcast brunch on Spotify and wherever you get them.